When Taya and Katerina have problems their friends can't deal with, they seek out Amina, one of the master dancers. She is always willing to take time out from running a busy household to advise new dancers. Amina, I feel really discouraged. I, I quit my job at the harem club after working there one night. And I just feel like there's so many obstacles in the way of my dancing. And I've just gotten to the point where I dread going in. Why, because they make you push drink? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, those club owners, what they want are good dancers to draw the customers. You're both getting to be pretty good dancers. Mm -hmm. No, really, you know. And your shimmies are fantastic. If you could work out a special act with your shimmies, mm -hmm. that would draw the customers. I don't know if I can keep drawing the customers, though, because I really have a problem maintaining audience contact. Well, the people, you know, that come into those places, they're just normal people. They're trying to get away from the distractions of the outside world, and they want to fantasize a little bit. So if they come into a belly dance club, they want to fantasize with the belly dancer. Who's the belly dancer? You? Right. Yeah, okay. So when you're dancing up there, just remember that they're the king, and you're dancing for them. Mm -hmm. So don't stand off and dance at a distance like some of those dancers get really arrogant. You have to get up close, be personal, have a lot of contact with them. You have to, you know, use some magic. Like most belly dancers, Amina leads two lives. a glimpse of, all the imaginings of your desire, ask for them. <laughs> 